Now back to the breaking news. A protest inside Mayfair Mall. Let's listen in. Now this video just into our newsroom. You can hear demonstrators chanting justice for Dontre. They are talking about Dontre Hamilton, the man killed by police in Red Arrow Park in April. After chants, protesters held a die-in. We have calls into the mall. They have not yet returned our calls at this time. We do have a crew headed to the scene, and we will keep you updated. Right now, protesters are also rallying in downtown Milwaukee. Both events come one day after the DA's decision not to charge the officer involved in Hamilton's death. 12 News' Kent Wayne Scott is live there tonight. And Kent, city leaders are calling for change in Milwaukee's police department and justice system. Yeah, that's true. Let me show you this. First of all, we are in Red Arrow Park, a, uh, another rally, a simultaneous rally, if you will, happening right now behind us. At the center of the circle behind me there is Dontre Hamilton's brother, Nate Hamilton, gathering uh, family members and supporters here in Red Arrow Park, as he has done several times over the past uh, weeks and months. This, of course, as you said, comes just one day after the DA's decision not to file charges in the Dontre Hamilton case. But at the same time, fallout from this case is also playing out tonight just across the street at City Hall. As protests continue in Milwaukee, several common council members are making it clear that the DA's decision is not the final word in this case. The eight months of pain and suffering, tears and hurt, and now for so many, anger and frustration are still not over. Alderwoman Malele Coggs and several colleagues rolled out a series of proposals to reform Milwaukee police and the justice system. To ensure for as much as we can that there are no longer deaths in police custody that could have been avoided. Among the recommendations, a community advisory council to work with police, an expansion of the police and fire commission from seven members to nine, body cameras for all officers, a call to reevaluate the diversity training that officers receive, and an early warning system to identify aggressive or violent behavior in officers. In a statement, a police spokesman says the Milwaukee Police Department welcomes the alderman's public interest in our continuing efforts to provide the city with police services of the highest ethical and professional standards, and notes that the substantive changes suggested are already in place or underway. The aldermen, however, believe that it's time for more significant system-wide changes. There's no doubt that the police department needs to improve and build and establish a relationship with the community, particularly the African-American community. And coming up at 6, the proposals that the aldermen say might have brought about a different outcome in the Hamilton case had they been in place. Meanwhile, again, here live in Red Arrow Park, this rally continues. Nate Hamilton in the center of this group of about 50 supporters here in Red Arrow Park. We'll have more coming up tonight at 6. For now, live in Red Arrow Park, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.